Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm having uh, issues with my Wi-Fi here. Uh, Christine Burke here, Daily Igniter Show, and uh, just thought I'd hop in here to talk to you a little bit about this um, playing in the past. And uh, I hope you stick around and listen. I think you might get some value from this. And I got a little giveaway at the end um, for you. So I'd love to know where you're listening in from and when you hop on, if you're on the replay or if you're new and you've never gotten on here before. And I just love to get on here and share stuff that I'm learning um, in a personal growth journey and a health journey and building a business journey. And, um, you know, people love to go to Facebook for um, maybe a bit of inspiration, maybe some education, maybe a little bit of motivation, but um, we all know that motivation, of course, is uh, comes from within. Anyway, so today uh, a little bit inspired, well, a lot inspired. I'm always inspired by a guy named Ray Higdon. I consider him one of my coaches, mentors inside a private coaching group called Rank Makers. It's awesome if you're in the professional network marketing, just as a sidebar have a go, um, it's pretty sensational. Anyway, uh, I did something a few days ago that um, that really pushed my, uh, pushed my boundaries a little bit and I was rewarded for it. So um, that's the first thing, uh, part of what I wanted to, to get in here and talk about today. So, um, you know, I think of one of the things that stops a lot of people and I know that it's stopped me and it's certainly, hey Darren, hey my friend, and it certainly uh, has stopped me in the past and I'm, and I'm learning to uh, to deal with it in a, in a better way. Boom shakalaka, yeah, boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka, boom shakalaka. <laughs> Um, anyway, so, uh, and Darren's in Rank Makers too. I just gave Rank Makers a little, uh, a little plug there, Darren. So, um, so yeah, so Ray was on today, uh, coaching about, you know, this idea of wallowing in the past and really focusing on past mistakes. And it's such a huge thing because I see it all the time with people that I know. I've seen it with myself. I've seen it with my husband and, uh, thanks mate. <laughs> And I think it's it's a real shame because it's one of the biggest things that stops people from getting what they want. And um, it it's, can be a challenge as well to sort of move past this idea that your past does not equal your future. And, you know, sometimes I catch myself even the way I talk to my kids. And uh, it's just one of those things that we need to, to really grasp and take a hold of if we want to move forward, if we want to fulfill the goals that we're going after. Maybe that's a health goal. Maybe that's a, you know, a wealth creation goal. And really understand um, that it's that thing that um, you're, you're focusing on the past mistakes, failures, what you didn't do, you know, um, bad decisions that you made instead of focusing on um, how to get past it. And I think sometimes we, we are emotional beings and, you know, we get caught, so caught up in failure and a lot of times this can come from our upbringing, it can come from different influences in our life, which, is, which, which have really taught us to focus on the bad side of failure. But once we figure out that it's, it's actually, you know, looking at whatever that past mistake is and figuring out how it's serving you, figuring out how it's actually being a, a positive force in your life. And for a lot of people, you know, that can be a really difficult thing, depending on whatever the past mistake is. It can be a very um, challenging thing, um, but it takes emotional energy and really takes like takes our eye off the game, takes our eye off the ball, prevents us from um, really moving forward. And you know, there are so many tools out there. There's so much stuff out there that can really help you, uh, you know, help anyone move past that, that negative headspace, that focusing on the past. I know for me, you know, I've made uh, a few years ago, I made a decision basically for everybody in the family um, to do something that cost us a lot of money. It really did. It cost us a lot of money. Um, it was a it was a good move in terms of uh, our, uh, for our family and certain relationships in our family. But that decision that I made 
that I forced on my husband and my family, um, you know, it cost us a lot of money. And I spent a lot of time feeling guilty for that and, um, and realized that, um, you know, until I started, sorry, there's the Australian birds screaming. Oh my God, they're so loud. Until I, until I realized and figured out how that was actually serving me, that it was a blessing in my life and actually gave us the tools and the, and the, and the desire and the burning desire to actually move forward and, um, and you know, to, to change all of that, you know, was the day that things started actually changing, right? So, so I just want to say that the, the one, the, oh, I'm back. Sorry, the birds here are so loud. It's insane. Um, anyway, so the thing that I was thinking about today, okay, so you're saying, yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it, you know, your past is not equal future, you know, your future is a, is a blank slate, regardless of what age you are, you know, you can create your future, you might hear this all the time, yes, it is true, yes, you can do it, yes, it's possible, you know, so the first thing uh, that you can do is actually think about the people who have made this kind of thing happen, like, look at Nelson Mandela, right? You know, he could have walked out of there, you know, mad, pissed off, upset, my life's over, you know, think of all the things that would have happened to him in that experience, right? So the first thing is, is, is latch on to other people's stories who have actually used their past circumstances, failures, you know, whatever, have used that to actually launch them into something friggin' amazing, right? Launch them into where they want to be. And the second thing is, that is huge, right, is the daily routine. And this comes up for me every day. And the more I realize this, the more powerful I feel in my own life. I, you know, I talk to my team about this all the time. You know, the daily routine is the key to everything. And it sounds boring, it sounds mundane. You're probably saying like, what do you mean about a daily routine? It's, it's really figuring out what, the, what you need to do to, to get out of that headspace and to move forward. So what actions you need to take every single day, every single week, um, and that are gonna take you closer to your goal, your goal. Because we can't influence the outcome, we can only influence what we do for the outcome. Right, so the first thing to note is that it's it's like any change is going to be powerful. Or sorry, it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be painful, and uh, it's not it's not going to be fun. It's just not. And you know that that's a, a big lesson that I've learned is that, that yeah, like life's all about having fun and being grateful. Absolutely, but if you want change, it's going to be painful. Like it's going to suck. It, it's right, Darren. It's going gonna, it's gonna to suck. It's just you and me here. It's just you and me here. Yeah. It's going to really suck before it gets amazing, right? That's the first thing. The second thing, it's boring and mundane. It is boring to do the same activities over and over and over and over again. And, you know, this is, I believe, in my humble opinion, why I think a lot of people quit doing stuff. Because it's boring to go to the gym. They get bored of doing it. They get bored of waking up at five o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's funny, funny, not so funny, right? It's boring to keep doing these same things like planning meals. It's boring to, you know, uh, go for a run. It's boring to, you know, reach out to people every day on Facebook. It's boring to do another Facebook Live, right? It's boring. And it, guess what? It's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be all exciting and rosy and like different day, new thing. Nah. -uh. And number three, you seriously have to fight like hell to hold on to that daily discipline. You have to literally, you have to fight for it. And I'm thinking about this because this is what came to me at the gym today. It's Monday and I've attached myself to a routine of Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, up at 4.30, at the gym by 5.15, to get it done and just because I know that that is the best day for me. The best day is when I get up at 4.30 a.m., especially in the beginning when you aren't seeing big results. Exactly. 
exactly excellent point it sucks at the beginning when you you're seeing nothing you're seeing no return on your effort and investment right so uh and so i know for me that this is this is the this is the discipline on those particular days and and every day right when i get up at that hour and work out in the morning it's the best day it's the best day and there i was today at the gym at nine o'clock and saying to myself what are you doing what are you doing you already know that this is not the ideal right so you have to fight it you i had and i didn't i lost this morning in the fight against my beautiful warm bed at 4 30 a.m so you have to fight hard for that daily discipline and that week weekly discipline you've got to fight it it's 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 a battle it can be a battle and it will be for most people because um, most people have not approached their life like this, right? 80-20, you know, only 20% of people will, will ever actually reach their goals. 80% of people won't. So um, anyway, I'm going to hop off now. Thanks, Darren, for listening. I keep playing around with Facebook Live times, and I don't think this is the best time for me to go on live. But um, thanks for listening. I hope you got some value from that. And uh, look, if you wanted to... Uh, if you're looking for a place to start with daily habits, nobody is perfect, absolutely. Um, if you wanted to start, if you're looking for a place to start with daily routines and disciplines, um, I've put together uh, a little thing called, uh, thanks, a little thing called Five Steps to Unstoppable. I've put a lot of value into it. And uh, if you would like to have a look at that, please reach out to me. I'm happy to share it with you. I think it might help you. And I uh, hope you got some value from this and have an awesome day, night, wherever you are in the world. I know I will. I'm going to go eat right now. It's night time over there in the U.S. So have a good sleep, Darren, and we'll see you next time. See you later.